Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. And this might be our last episode of this season. And the reason I say might, we have one game left. Our last two games, we did lose an away game against Knott's County, which they, they just showed up and just dominated us. They got three goals in the first, like, ten minutes or something like that. It was just... <laughs> it was very, very disappointing. Uh, we did hold on to get a win against Barnett, though, which uh, felt pretty good. Um... But overall in the competition, we are one point shy of, you know, playoffs, although we would lose the gold if, you know, if it was just counting that one point. So we cannot settle for a draw. We have to get a win. And Newport County cannot get better than a draw. If they get a draw, that's fine. But if they get a a win, um, then then we're we're out of it. But to be even be contention for playoffs feels pretty good this late in the season. Um, so here's hoping. Here's hope see what we can do. Team secure playoff spots. The one thing I will say is that uh, the team that we're playing actually has something to play for, whereas the team that um, Newport is playing does not. Um, Newport is playing um, Rock Rockdale, I guess, and they're they're completely secure. They're done. They're they're fine. They're already secured playoffs. Um, they've already secured, I guess, promotion. Um, so they're they're good. We're playing Bristol Rivers here, which has not secured promotion yet. So. They they're gonna to want to come out and just come out swinging to make sure they have a chance to get automatic promotion. So you know it's gonna be a little harder for us, I think, than it is for uh, Newport. Now we resume full training. Uh, we'll probably swap. I guess we're gonna to swap to this. I mean, it is a home game. I was thinking about swapping to this, but you know, it's a home game. Let's just go all out. Let's go. Let's go a little bit more crazier. We've had a little bit more uh, success with this other formation. In fact, we may actually check that real quick. Let's go. Let's go look at our tactics. Let's go look at um, analysis for formations. So this four-two-four wide has gotten more chances for than against, whereas the four-one-four-one has had more chances against than four. So, so there's definitely that. Um, what about? What am I looking for? Is there a way to see like goals? Goals. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Anyway, I, I still think it's going to be a better formation for us. Um, so we'll we'll probably go with that. It's a home game. We might as well give the fans a, a something to cheer for. Play a little bit more of an aggressive style. See what we can do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, the, again, the fact that we're in a playoff contention at all does feel uh, really, really good. Luke Marshall's proposed takeover is close to collapse. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that could make this next season very, very interesting for sure. I mean, the best thing you want is to, to get a takeover like that just said and done and just completely locked in the book so that you don't have to mess with any sort of lockdowns on transfers or anything like that. Uh, let's see, anything here we want to action on? Form deserves recognition, absolutely. Nathan Pond doing a good job coming back from his, um, I guess he didn't like my praise. Even Jake Beasley doing a pretty good job apparently. All right, that looks good. Come on, let's go. We got this game. I actually don't remember what uh, if we beat them last time we faced them or not. We could look, but we might as well. Uh, I guess I'll look because like, I'd like to see how much by because it'll tell us once we get ready for the game. You know what we did last time we faced them, but um, I'd like to see how much of a difference it was. Colchester head coach wins monthly accolade. Apparently we were in the running. Discourage players from get stuck in. I'm okay with that. Let's go look at our schedule. So Bristol. Uh, we drew them at a way. So maybe maybe we can get steal a win here. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. Good crowd expected, 4,500 tickets sold. 
Salford and Bristol Rovers set for promotion at Showdown. Well, promotion for them, uh, playoffs for us. So that's actually a <laughs> pretty good, um, a pretty good uh, way to set up. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? The Kenny believes Lloyd should win Skybet League Two Player of the Year. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right, come on, guys. Let's get ready for this game. Saving game. Saving our entire season. Uh, I don't know about that. I think it's been a successful season either way. I don't think... Let's see here. Could we drop out of the top 10 uh, with a loss? Yeah, we could. If Cheltenham or Wycombe, either one of them does anything good, we could definitely drop out of the top 10. So, I mean, my goal of hopefully being top 10, you know, still definitely also on the line. Uh, we're just... We're not going to send any players over to the under 18s at this point in the game or this season. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, come on. We got this. We got we got a good chance here. The last game we played was a very high-scoring game with them as well, so there's that to take into consideration. They're on a strong uh, form right now. We're inconsistent, but we've also we got the same number of wins as they have. We do have that loss in the mix, um, so there is that. All right, uh, I think we'll keep with Crocom. I think that's fine. Wiseman, Kelleher, Pond. I think all these guys are fine. Askew, Douglas, cool. I mean, I think this is basically the best setup we can have. Um, do I bring Gaffney on instead? I actually think I do bring Gaffney on instead. But we may put one of those guys on the bench. Where is he? We'll grab McCoy and bring him onto the bench just in case something goes crazy. And everybody else I think looks good. So let's go with this. Gaffney's la lacking match sharpness, but he's such a good player. I think I think it's just worth bringing him on here. Oh, I seem confused. Really, dude? All right, whatever. All right, well, there's the kickoff. It is a rainy day, um, so we'll see if that plays into our uh, to, to our advantage or not. Crocom going to get the ball early here. Probably just going to be a goal kick here, deep. Farland was over there, but I guess that was the end of that highlight. Askew picking up the ball here. Over to Cool. Cool. what are you going to do with the buddy? Going to get over to Williams on the left-hand side. Williams going to get across over to Rooney. Rooney to Gaffney. Gaffney who I just decided, you know what, how about we just stick him in here? He's a good player. He gets us the first goal, gets us on the board a minute into this game. I think that was a good decision. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know he's a good player. It's worth bringing on your good players, match fitness or not. Man, that's a good way to start this game. Although, again, the last game went 3-3, so there was a lot of goals in the last game. So we expect some, some offensive, you know, offensiveness from... Uh, the uh, Bristol guys here. Ooh, speaking of, man, it was a good good shot there. Bennett was offsides there, though. Good stuff. A couple early, early highlights in this game. All right, no more highlights the rest of the game. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's that. All right, Wiseman taking a free kick here. Uh, so I was going to say, Rudy was over there in the area. Unfortunately, we're not able to collect that one, although Askew should be able to pick this one up pretty easily. Is that going to be the end of that highlight? Nope, we're going to get a deep kick here. Um, Williams able to do something there. Not, not much, though, unfortunately. And it is going to go away from us. Uh, deep kicker. Oh, Gordon's going to be able to get past his man. Come on, guys. Get in front of that. There we go. All right, let's pause for a second. Um, looks like Newport uh, County. Let's see. Can we see... Latest scores. Where is Newport? I just kind of want to keep an eye on them. Okay, so they're up one nothing on Rockdale, which you know doesn't surprise me. Right, cool with a free kick here. Obviously, we got to take care of our game force first before we can even worry about their game. Crocom with the kick here. 
Rooney's in the area, it looks like. He got his head on it. McFarlane's able to pick that one up. Over to Douglas. Douglas is going to get it over to Gaffney. Gaffney already the man of the match for us. Over to Rooney. Rooney over to Cool. Cool is probably going to try a shot. He's on target. He's definitely on target. Uh, so we are going to get a corner kick out of this. Williams with the corner kick. Unfortunately, nobody of ours really in the area. Come on, Rockdale. Come back. Come back from that one nothing. Oh, they're up. They're down 2 nothing. I have a feeling Newport County just bring it on. Rockdale's probably playing their subs and all this stuff. Getting ready for their automatic promotion. Nothing to put... No reason for them to risk anything at this point, unfortunately. So, this this game may... All it may be is just a way to save our, hopefully, top 10 finish. crazy that entire season can come down to one point somewhere a draw somewhere or you know whatever all right well that is that we're up we're up i mean we're doing our part at least um might be the performance guys keep it up keep it up we got to do our part i doubt a rock is going to come back in their game but if they did and we didn't do our part here then it would be kind of a moot point right are we looking? I didn't see it. Uh-oh. Letting Gordon break free. Getting past our defense. This is not good, guys. Oh, good save, Crocom. Very good save. I said I want no more highlights, guys. Come on. I want this to be a boring rest of the game. <laughs> one nothing. Let it end that way. Uh, Yeah, I think the reports just totally got their game, honestly. There's just nothing... No signs of life from Rockdale. Williams back over to uh, Gaffney. Gaffney's going to get across to Rooney. Rooney's in the area with the goal. 23rd goal of the season. Really putting a little bit of an exclamation point on our lead so far. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. This could go away at any point, but feels pretty good so far. I mean, the boys are going to do everything they can and then just leave it up to, uh, you know, uh, then we just give away something like that. Well, never mind then. All right, let's go ahead and make a sub here. Um, looks like McFarlane has not been playing super well. Neither has Wiseman, quite frankly. Let's go ahead and swap out Wiseman. Let's swap out our defenders a little bit more than our offenders because we are currently in the lead. Cool with a free kick here. Uh, crazy curve, but nowhere near the to go at that point. Anything in this game? Nope. Pretty sure Newport County is going to completely lock us out here, which which is fine. It's understandable. We got a lot on the line, so it does not surprise me one bit. Gaffney over to Douglas. Douglas over to Cool. Cool back over to Gaffney. Gaffney going to be able to do something else for us here. McFarland. Oh, had a chance off the post. I mean, come on. <laughs> so close. And then we're about to get another free kick here. Let's do a sub real quick. Um... I'm going to swap out Pond for Carl. Kind of keep him to that whole premise of keeping our defenders fresh. I was going to say, we're going to let Bennett do it again to us? Come on, guys. Crocom. Bringing it out a little bit. Kicking it pretty deep here. Unfortunately, we got, like, nobody in the area. Ah, oh, McFarland, you're going to be able to get to it. No, you're not. Ah, oh, Askew able to pick that one up over to Cool. Cool back to Askew. Up to McFarland. McFarland. Oh, good behind the back. Pass. Cool. Over to Williams. Williams had a chance there. Not nothing going. Douglas. What you gonna do with it, buddy? Gonna take a shot. Kind of a crazy shot, but you know, we'll give it to him. We did drop down to ninth, it looks like. Just I just saw. Mahoney. Another free kick here. Kelleher, thankfully, was able to get his head on that one. Roos, though. Oof. That was close. We're gonna get a corner kick here for Bristol Rovers, though. Mahoney with the kick. Clark got some space. Thankfully, we were able to get in front of that one. It is going to be a throw in here, though. All right, let's go ahead and drop it down to a little bit more balanced here. Maybe a little bit more defensive minded. Try to hold on to this 2-1 lead here. 
Um, last sub of the game. Really nothing going for us. Um, maybe swap out Douglas for... Let's bring in Mafuda. He hasn't played all season. Or <laughs> much this season. Yeah, it definitely looks like Rockdale is not going to be coming back in the game at all. Hogan picking up a yellow card. He's off tackles. Let's go ahead and drop it down to Cautious. Try to hold on to this lead. This keeps us in the top 10. Which, again, is a, is a really good finish to the season coming into it. And, you know, again, competing for playoffs in the last game, still being in playoff contention in the last game of the season, it's a pretty good place to be. Even if it doesn't end up being, you know, the way it ends out. Lots of highlights here for them. Deep kick there. We only got a couple minutes left of this game. Come on, guys. Hold on to this. Let's finish up. Do our part. Two minutes left here. Deep kick here. Kelly's going to be able to get to it, unfortunately. Crossover to Mahoney. Okay, Mahoney was already getting in the way of it before Mahoney could get to it. Rooney's going to kick it up. McFarland's in the area. Kick it pretty deep over here to Gaffney. The food is able to pick that one up, though. Over to Askew. Askew's got some space. Oh, I was going to say, we had a chance there. Nothing going, though. We're going to get a throw in here. About a minute left. Gaffney back over to Askew. There's really nobody there for him to kick it to, so I don't know what he was doing there. About 40 seconds left. Come on, guys. Hold on to this. It's in this, in this season on a high note. We're going to get a throw in here from Gaffney and to try to get to Rooney, but unfortunately Bristol got in the way of that. Is this going to be Bristol's uh, automatic promotion bid going bye-bye? I mean, they are going to be in the, the playoffs, though, so I guess we got to give them that. Uh, no, I mean, it's a pretty good, good job, guys. I mean, we did a great job of, you know, hanging in there, hanging on to that win. I think it was a great season. You did what was needed of you today. Absolutely. And, but of course, Newport was just able to just knock out Rockdale here. So, that's how it ends. One point shy of playoffs. I mean, <laughs> you could have picked up a point anywhere. Anywhere this season. Oh, it's crazy. I guess technically two points shy because we didn't have the gold if. So, we would have needed a win. Instead of a draw or, you know, a couple draws instead of some losses, things like that. So, oh, well, I mean, a good first season in Skybet League 2. Um, excellent showing from the guys. And we'll just have to come back even stronger next year. Hopefully our uh, ownership situation, you know, gets figured out. Um, but, yeah, I definitely think playoffs or even just automatic promotion next year is is definitely well well within the expectations we should have for ourselves. So, good stuff. Bristol did hold on by one point um, and get uh, get the automatic promotion. Man, if we had uh, held them to zero, uh, I think they still would have gotten it because they... No, actually, I think after Goldiff, I think it goes to the most wins. So actually, Yeovil might have gotten the automatic promotion at that point. But anyway, yeah, no, I mean, it's good stuff. Newport did secure their playoff spot, which means, you know, obviously we didn't. And curtain comes down. And that is the end of it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there uh, when we come back. Well, I say when we come back. Next time you see will be a brand new season um, for, for, for Salford here and probably a, a very different team in a lot of ways. I mean, we may keep a lot of the guys that we have, but I bet there's going to be some new, new, new guys to look at. Uh, I don't think we'll have as many players. We had a lot of players this season um, just for various reasons. Way too many players probably, although we did have a lot of injuries, but a lot of those players are going to be going away. Uh, we'll probably bring in a few extra players as well. And we'll see what happens. But anyway, I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the season. If you did, please give me a like, a uh, thumbs up, you know, and uh, just let me know. And then keep a look, keep a look out for the, uh, the first episode of the next season. Thank you and goodbye.